So it's Friday the 10th of March and that means it is the first official day of Gemma Kearney's book tour. And I'm just about to head off to join the author, some of the other people from Pan Macmillan and a few other special guests to go on book tour on a very special vehicle you will see when we get there. First things first, I needed to make my way to St Pancras Station and meet up with the rest of the gang. All stocked up with copies of Open, some snacks for the road and of course our Team Open badges. We boarded the train to Margate. <laughs> team Open! <laughs> and on the other side we found waiting for us Dandelion, the yellow bus. We quickly took in a little bit of the Margate seaside from the open deck of the bus and then we had to find our author, of course. A quick stop at what is possibly the coolest hotel in existence before we board the bus again. You're <laughs> <is> not helping. <laughs> Oi oi, welcome to the mad bus that is Dandelion. Uh, we're in Margate, we're about to go to the Turner Gallery do a panel chat, Nat, you know, with some incredible women. I'm so excited to pick their brains. Um, yeah, it's day two of the open takeover, publication day, day two, my Margate launch where I live, by the seaside. Um, so we're on the bus, we're on Dandelion, can you believe ridiculous <laughs> We're just on a lovely uh, discussion and panel chat at the Turner Contemporary Gallery here in Thanet. Um and one of the things that you spoke about was your 14 year old self having a slight imposter, no, it was, the imposter thing was later. One of the things that you spoke about was kind of coming to terms with your appearance and, and going to a, a bigger school and like having this transformation. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Just a little bit about your books because they are about you know pretty controversial in some ways actually not that I believe that they should be controversial but big subject matters in our world. Tin vlogger du jour, vlogger, <laughs> author of doing it. Um, let's talk about you age 14. How long ago was that? Uh, 11 years ago. So not that long ago, weirdly. 11 years ago seems like a long time no, to me. No, I don't know. I feel like actually not. You are the author of Control Alt Delete, which is about growing up on the in well, kind of with and without the internet, um, because you were a kid of the 90s, like just no, a bit before, bit after, early early noughties. Yeah. So you remember kind of the internet being an overwhelm for all of us in terms of humankind and getting really into it. Mm -hmm. As well as recording the open podcast with these fabulous women, Gemma Kearney and the crew then did a talk at the Turner Contemporary where they talked about some of their favourite books. I've got um, Shonda Ryan, she's a, she's a writer, yeah. she writes TV, so she's like the first, she's like the first black <coughs> woman to have like three, no, three shows following each other. She wrote a book called The Year of Yes, which is a great book, it's full of memoirs and she's really funny. I like um, Min Kaling's Why Not Me, it's a kind of memoir about growing up and uh, she's really inspiring just because she kind of got into the TV industry in such a weird way. Um, I think when I was 15, um, a, a teacher in school gave me a copy of The Handmaid's Tale um, by Margaret Atwood. And I remember reading it and putting it down and it was the first book that I can remember reading that I felt like I, putting down that book, that my entire view of the world had changed. Tip on getting published, because I believe there is a book in everyone. <laughs> if I can do it, you all can. And I think just do it as well. Like. Lots more romanticised this idea of writing the quill and. I might tell you drinking absinthe. Just write it. Just get your phone out, start writing, copy and paste it. I saw a quote and it was perfectionism is the enemy of creativity because if you want to be creative, you have to be prepared to make so many mistakes and to sort of look stupid and to waste a lot of paper. Um, so I think it's just about putting that aside and just doing your best um, and just go for it. Mm. And after imparting some wisdom on writing to the rest of the audience, it was time to take some pictures and sign some books before heading off into the night and back aboard Dandelion, the yellow bus. Dandelion. 
Beauty Line. She's alive and we are going all around the country to speak to excellent people because I really like talking. So it will be fascinating, it will be ridiculous um, and it might be emotional at points but hopefully it will be uplifting and helpful because my goodness we need help sometimes. <laughs> and it's Friday! <laughs> Yeah.